Fortran is a general purpose, imperative programming language that is especially suited to numeric computation and scientific computing. Originally developed by IBM in the 1950s for scientific and engineering applications, Fortran came to dominate this area of programming early on and has been in continuous use for over half a century in computationally intensive areas such as numerical weather prediction, finite element analysis, computational fluid dynamics, computational physics and computational chemistry. It is one of the most popular languages in the area of high-performance computing and is the language used for programs that benchmark and rank the world's fastest supercomputers. Fortran encompasses a lineage of versions, each of which evolved to add extensions to the language while usually retaining compatibility with previous versions. Successive versions have added support for structured programming and processing of character-based data, array programming, modular programming and generic programming, high-performance Fortran, object-oriented programming and concurrent programming. Capitalization the names of earlier versions of the language through Fortran 77 were conventionally spelled in all caps. The capitalization has been dropped in referring to newer versions beginning with Fortran 90. The official language standards now refer to the language as Fortran. Because the capitalization was never completely consistent in actual usage, this article adopts the convention of using the all caps Fortran in referring to versions of the language up to Fortran 77 and the title caps Fortran in referring to versions of the language from Fortran 90 onward. This convention is reflected in the capitalization of Fortran in the ANSIX 3.9-1966 and ANSIX 3.9-1978 standards and the title caps Fortran in the ANSIX 3.198-1992. ISO IEC 1539-1 1997 and ISO IEC 1539-1 2004 standards. History In late 1953, John W. Backer submitted a proposal to his superiors at IBM to develop a more practical alternative to assembly language for programming their IBM 704 mainframe computer. Backer's historic Fortran team consisted of programmers Richard Goldberg, Sheldon F. Best, Harlan Herrick, Peter Sheridan, Roy Nutt, Robert Nelson, Irving Ziller, Lois Haped, and David Sayre. Its concepts included easier entry of equations into a computer, an idea developed by J. Halcom Laning and demonstrated in his George Compiler of 1952. A draft specification for the IBM Mathematical Formula Translating System was completed by mid-1954. The first manual for Fortran appeared in October 1956, with the first Fortran compiler delivered in April 1957. This was the first optimizing compiler, because customers were reluctant to use a high-level programming language unless its compiler could generate code whose performance was comparable to that of hand-coded assembly language. While the community was skeptical that this new method could possibly outperform hand-coding, it reduced the number of programming statements necessary to operate a machine by a factor of 20, and quickly gained acceptance. John Backus said during a 1979 interview with Think, the IBM employee magazine, much of my work has come from being lazy. I didn't like writing programs, and so, when I was working on the IBM 701, writing programs for computing missile trajectories, I started work on a programming system to make it easier to write programs. The language was widely adopted by scientists for writing numerically intensive programs, which encouraged compiler writers to produce compilers that could generate faster and more efficient code. The inclusion of a complex number data type in the language made Fortran especially suited to technical applications such as electrical engineering. By 1960, Versions of Fortran were available for the IBM 709, 650, 1620, and 1790 computers. Significantly, the increasing popularity of Fortran spurred competing computer manufacturers to provide Fortran compilers for their machines, so that by 1963 over 40 Fortran compilers existed. For these reasons, Fortran is considered to be the first widely used programming language supported across a variety of computer architectures. The development of Fortran paralleled the early evolution of compiler technology, 
and many advances in the theory and design of compilers were specifically motivated by the need to generate efficient code for Fortran programs. Fortran, the initial release of Fortran for the IBM 704 contained 32 statements, including, dimension and equivalent statements, assignment statements, three-way arithmetic IF statement, which passed control to one of three locations in the program depending on whether the result of the arithmetic statement was negative, zero, or positive, IF statements for checking exceptions, and IF statements for manipulating sense switches and sense lights, GOTO, computed GOTO, assign, and assigned GOTO, do loops, formatted IO, format, read, read input tape, write, write output tape, print, and punch, and formatted IO, read tape, read drum, write tape, and write drum, other IO, end file, rewind, and backspace, pause, STOP, and continue, frequency statement. The arithmetic IF statement was similar to a three-way branch instruction on the IBM 704. However, the 704 branch instructions all contained only one destination address. The machine did have a three-way skip instruction, but using this instruction to implement the IF would consume four instruction words, require the constant zero in a word of storage, and take three machine cycles to execute. Using the transfer instructions to implement the IF could be done in one to three instruction words, required no constants in storage, and take one to three machine cycles to execute. An optimizing compiler like Fortran would most likely select the more compact and usually faster transfers instead of the compare. Also the compare considered a zero and plus zero to be different values while the transfer zero and transfer not zero considered them to be the same. The frequency statement in Fortran was used originally to give branch probabilities for the three branch cases of the arithmetic IF statement. The first Fortran compiler used this weighting to perform at compile time a Monte Carlo simulation of the generated code, the results of which were used to optimize the placement of basic blocks in memory a Euro a very sophisticated optimization for its time. The Monte Carlo technique is documented in Bacchus AAL's paper on this original implementation, the Fortran Automatic Coding System. The fundamental unit of program is the basic block. A basic block is a stretch of program which is a single entry point and a single exit point. The purpose of Section 4 is to prepare for Section 5 a table of predecessors which enumerates the basic blocks and lists for every basic block each of the basic blocks which can be its immediate predecessor in flow, together with the absolute frequency of each such basic block link. This table is obtained by an actual execution of the program in Monte Carlo fashion, in which the outcome of conditional transfers arising out of IF type statements and computed GOTOs is determined by a random number generator suitably weighted according to whatever frequency statements have been provided. Many years later, the frequency statement had no effect on the code, and was treated as a comment statement, since the compilers no longer did this kind of compile time simulation. A similar fate has befallen compiler hints in several other programming languages. For example C's register keyword, fixed layout and punched cards. Before the development of disk files, text editors and terminals, programs were most often entered on a key punch keyboard onto 80 column punched cards, one line to a card. The resulting deck of cards would be fed into a card reader to be compiled. Punched card codes did not include lowercase letters or many special characters, and special versions of the IBM 026 key punch were offered that would correctly print the reproposed special characters used in Fortran. See Computer Programming in the Punched Card Era. Reflecting punched card input practice, Fortran programs were originally written in a fixed column format. A letter C in column 1 caused the entire card to be treated as a comment and ignored by the compiler. Otherwise, the card was divided into four fields. Columns 1 to 5 were the label field, a sequence of digits here was taken as a label for the purpose of a GOTO or a format reference in a write or read statement. Column 6 was a continuation field, a non-blank character here caused the card to be taken as a continuation of the statement on the previous card. Columns 7 to 72 served as the statement field. 
columns 73 to 80 were ignored, so they could be used for identification information. One such use was punching a sequence number which could be used to reorder cards if a stack of cards was dropped, though in practice this was reserved for stable, production programs. An IBM 519 could be used to copy a program deck and add sequence numbers. Some early compilers, for example the IBM 650s, had additional restrictions due to limitations on their card readers. Key punches could be programmed to tab to column 7 and skip out after column 72. Later compilers relaxed most fixed format restrictions and the requirement was eliminated in the Fortran 90 standard. Within the statement field, blanks were generally ignored, allowing the programmer to omit space between tokens for brevity, or include spaces within identifiers for clarity. Character strings were prefixed by a character count in the letter H, allowing blanks to be retained in the string. Fortran 2, IBM's Fortran 2 appeared in 1958. The main enhancement was to support procedural programming by allowing user-written subroutines and functions which returned values, with parameters passed by reference. The common statement provided a way for subroutines to access common variables. Six new statements were introduced, subroutine, function, and END, call and return, common. Over the next few years, Fortran 2 would also add support for the double precision and complex data types. Early Fortran compilers did not support recursion in subroutines. Early computer architectures did not support the concept of a stack, and when they did directly support subroutine calls, the return location was often stored in a single fixed location adjacent to the subroutine code, which does not permit a subroutine to be called again before a previous call of the subroutine has returned. Although not specified in Fortran 77, many F77 compilers supported recursion as an option, while it became a standard in Fortran 90. Simple Fortran 2 program, this program, for Heron's formula, reads one data card containing three five-digit integers A, B, and C as input. If A, B, and C cannot represent the sides of a triangle in plane geometry, then the program's execution will end with an error code of STOP1. Otherwise, an output line will be printed showing the input values for A, B, and C, followed by the computed area of the triangle as a floating point number with two digits after the decimal point. Fortran 3. IBM also developed a Fortran 3 in 1958 that allowed for inline assembly code among other features. However, this version was never released as a product. Like the 704 Fortran and Fortran 2, Fortran 3 included machine-dependent features that made code written in it unportable from machine to machine. Early versions of Fortran provided by other vendors suffered from the same disadvantage. IBM 1401 Fortran, Fortran was provided for the IBM 1401 by an innovative 63-pass compiler that ran in only 8K of core. It kept the program in memory and loaded overlays that gradually transformed it, in place, into executable form, as described by Haynes al. The executable form was not machine language. Rather it was interpreted, anticipating UCSD Pascal P code by two decades. Fortran 4, starting in 1961, as a result of customer demands, IBM began development of a Fortran 4 that removed the machine-dependent features of Fortran 2, while adding new features such as a logical data type, logical Boolean expressions and the logical IF statement as an alternative to the arithmetic IF statement. Fortran 4 was eventually released in 1962, first for the IBM 7030 computer followed by versions for the IBM 7090 and IBM 7094. By 1965, Fortran 4 was supposed to be compliant with the standard being developed by the American Standards Association X3.4.3 Fortran Working Group. At about this time Fortran 4 had started to become an important educational tool and implementations such as Waterloo University's Watfa and Watviv were created to simplify the complex compile and link processes of earlier compilers. Fortran 66, perhaps the most significant development in the early history of Fortran was the decision by the American Standards Association to form a committee sponsored by BEMA, the Business Equipment Manufacturers Association 
to develop an American standard Fortran. The resulting two standards, approved in March 1966, defined two languages, Fortran, and Basic Fortran. The Fortran defined by the first standard, officially denoted X3.9-1966, became known as Fortran 66. Fortran 66 effectively became the first industry standard version of Fortran. Fortran 66 included main program, subroutine, function, and block data program units, integer, real, double precision, complex, and logical data types, common, dimension, and equivalent statements, data statement for specifying initial values, intrinsic and external functions, assignment statement, GOTO assigned GOTO, and computed GOTO statements, logical IF and arithmetic IF statements, do loops, read, write, backspace, rewind, and end file statements for sequential I.O., format statement, call, return, pause, and STOP statements, whole write constants in data and format statements, and as actual arguments to procedures, identifiers of up to six characters in length. Comment lines, Fortran 77. After the release of the Fortran 66 standard, compiler vendors introduced a number of extensions to standard Fortran, prompting ANSI Committee X3J3 in 1969 to begin work on revising the 1966 standard. Under sponsorship of CBEMA, the Computer Business Equipment Manufacturers Association. Final drafts of this revised standard circulated in 1977 leading to formal approval of the new Fortran standard in April 1978. The new standard, known as Fortran 77 and officially denoted X3.9-1978, added a number of significant features to address many of the shortcomings of Fortran 66, block IF and DNDIF statements, with optional else and else IF clauses, to provide improved language support for structured programming, do-loop extensions, including parameter expressions, negative increments, and zero trip counts, open, close, and inquire statements for improved I.O. capability, direct access file I.O., implicit statement, character data type, with vastly expanded facilities for character input and output and processing of character-based data, parameter statement for specifying constants, save statement for persistent local variables, generic names for intrinsic functions, a set of intrinsics for lexical comparison of strings, based upon the ASCII collating sequence. In this revision of the standard, a number of features were removed or altered in a manner that might invalidate previously standard conforming programs. While most of the 24 items in the conflict list address loopholes or pathological cases permitted by the previous standard but rarely used, a small number of specific capabilities were deliberately removed such as, whole write constants and whole write data, such as, greet equals 12 h h e l l o there, reading into an h edit descriptor in a format specification, over indexing of array bounds by subscripts, dimension a, 10, 5, y equals a, 11, 1, transfer of control out of and back into the range of a do loop, variants, Minnesota Fortran, Control Data Corporation computers had another version of Fortran 77, called Minnesota Fortran, designed especially for student use, with variations in output constructs, special uses of commons and data statements, optimizations code levels for compiling, and detailed error listings, extensive warning messages, and debugs. Transition to ANSI standard Fortran the development of a revised standard to succeed Fortran 77 would be repeatedly delayed as the standardization process struggled to keep up with rapid changes in computing and programming practice. In the meantime, as the standard Fortran for nearly 15 years, Fortran 77 would become the historically most important dialect. An important practical extension to Fortran 77 was the release of MILS TD 1753 in 1978. This specification, developed by the U.S. Department of Defense, standardized a number of features implemented by most Fortran 77 compilers but not included in the ANSI Fortran 77 standard. These features would eventually be incorporated into the Fortran 90 standard. Do while and END do statements, 
include statement, implicit num variant of the implicit statement, bit manipulation intrinsic functions, based on similar functions included in industrial real-time Fortran, the IEEE 1003.9 POSIX standard, released in 1991 provided a simple means for Fortran 77 programmers to issue POSIX system calls. Over 100 calls were defined in the document a euro allowing access to POSIX compatible process control, signal handling, file system control, device control, procedure pointing, and stream I.O. in a portable manner. Fortran 90, the much-delayed successor to Fortran 77, informally known as Fortran 90, was finally released as ISOIEC standard 1539-1991 in 1991 and an ANSI standard in 1992. In addition to changing the official spelling from Fortran to Fortran, this major revision added many new features to reflect the significant changes in programming practice that had evolved since the 1978 standard, free-form source input, also with lowercase Fortran keywords identifies up to 31 characters in length, and line comments, ability to operate on arrays as a whole, thus greatly simplifying math and engineering computations. Whole, partial and masked array assignment statements and array expressions, such as an x, 1, n, equals r, 1, n, cos, a, 1, n, where statement for selective array assignment, array valued constants and expressions, User-defined array-valued functions and array constructors. Recursive procedures, modules, to group related procedures and data together, and make them available to other program units, including the capability to limit the accessibility to only specific parts of the module. A vastly improved argument passing mechanism, allowing interfaces to be checked at compile time, user-written interfaces for generic procedures, operator overloading, derived data types, new data type declaration syntax, to specify the data type and other attributes of variables, dynamic memory allocation by means of the allocatable attribute and the allocate and deallocate statements, pointer attribute, pointer assignment, and nullify statement to facilitate the creation and manipulation of dynamic data structures, structured looping constructs, with an end do statement for loop termination, and exit and cycle statements for terminating normal do loop iterations in an orderly way. Select. Case construct for multi way selection, portable specification of numerical precision under the user's control, new and enhanced intrinsic procedures. Obsolescence and deletions. Unlike the previous revision, Fortran 90 did not delete any features. Any standard conforming Fortran 77 program is also standard conforming under Fortran 90 and either standard should be usable to define its behavior. A small set of features were identified as obsolescent, and expected to be removed in a future standard. Hello World Example Fortran 95 Fortran 95, published officially as ISOIEC 1539-1997, was a minor revision, mostly to resolve some outstanding issues from the Fortran 90 standard. Nevertheless, Fortran 95 also added a number of extensions, notably from the high-performance Fortran specification, for all and nested where constructs to aid vectorization, user-defined pure and elemental procedures, default initialization of derived type components, including pointer initialization, expanded the ability to use initialization expressions for data objects, clearly defined that allocatable arrays are automatically deallocated when they go out of scope. A number of intrinsic functions were extended. Several features noted in Fortran 90 to be obsolescent were removed from Fortran 95. Do statements using real and double precision variables, branching to an ENDIF statement from outside its block, pause statement, assign and assigned GOTO statement, and assigned format specifiers, HEDIT descriptor. An important supplement to Fortran 95 was the ISO Technical Report TO15581, Enhanced Data Type Facilities, informally known as the Allocatable Trail. This specification defined enhanced use of allocatable arrays, prior to the availability of fully Fortran 2003 compliant Fortran compilers. Such uses include allocatable arrays as derived type components, 
in procedure dummy argument lists, and as function return values. Another important supplement to Fortran 95 was the ISO Technical Report T015580, floating point exception handling, informally known as the IEEE trail. This specification defined support for IEEE floating point arithmetic and floating point exception handling. Conditional compilation and varying length strings, in addition to the mandatory base language, the Fortran 95 language also includes two optional modules varying character strings, conditional compilation, which, together, compose the multi-part international standard. According to the standards developers, the optional parts describe self-contained features which have been requested by a substantial body of users and or implementers, but which are not deemed to be of sufficient generality for them to be required in all standard-conforming Fortran compilers. Nevertheless, if a standard-conforming Fortran does provide such options, then they must be provided in accordance with the description of those facilities in the appropriate part of the standard. Fortran 2003, Fortran 2003, officially published as ISO IEC 1539-1-2004, is a major revision introducing many new features. A comprehensive summary of the new features of Fortran 2003 is available at the Fortran Working Group official website. From that article, the major enhancements for this revision include, derived type enhancements, parameterized derived types, improved control of accessibility, improved structure constructors, and finalizers. Object-oriented programming support, type extension and inheritance, polymorphism, dynamic type allocation, and type-bound procedures, providing complete support for abstract data types. Data manipulation enhancements, allocatable components, deferred type parameters, volatile attribute, explicit type specification in array constructors and allocate statements, pointer enhancements, extended initialization expressions, and enhanced intrinsic procedures. Input-output enhancements, asynchronous transfer, stream access, user-specified transfer operations for derived types, user-specified control of rounding during format conversions, named constants for pre-connected units, the flush statement, regularization of keywords, and access to error messages. Procedure pointers. Support for IEEE floating point arithmetic and floating point exception handling. Interoperability with the C programming language. Support for international usage. Access to ISO 10646 4 byte characters and choice of decimal or comma in numeric formatted input output. Enhanced integration with the host operating system, access to command line arguments, environment variables, and processor error messages. An important supplement to Fortran 2003 was the ISO Technical Report T019767, Enhanced Module Facilities in Fortran. This report provided submodules, which make Fortran modules more similar to Modular 2 modules. They are similar to Ada Private Child subunits. This allows the specification and implementation of a module to be expressed in separate program units, which improves packaging of large libraries, allows preservation of trade secrets while publishing definitive interfaces, and prevents compilation cascades. Fortran 2008 the most recent standard, ISO IEC 1539-1-2010, informally known as Fortran 2008, was approved in September 2010. As with Fortran 95, this is a minor upgrade, incorporating clarifications and corrections to Fortran 2003, as well as introducing a select few new capabilities. The new capabilities include, submodules a Euro additional structuring facilities for modules. Supersedes ISO IEC Trail 19767-2005, Co-Array Fortran a Euro a parallel execution model, the do concurrent construct a Euro for loop iterations with no interdependencies, the contiguous attribute a Euro to specify storage layout restrictions, the block construct a Euro can contain declarations of objects with construct scope. Recursive allocatable components a euro as an alternative to recursive pointers in derived types. The final draft international standard is available as document N1830.
An important supplement to Fortran 2008 is the ISO Technical Specification 29113 on further interoperability of Fortran with C, which has been submitted to ISO in May 2012 for approval. The specification adds support for accessing the array descriptor from C and allows ignoring of the type and rank of arguments. Fortran 2015, the next revision of the language is intended to be a minor revision. It is currently planned to include further interoperability between Fortran and C, additional parallel features, and the removal of simple deficiencies in and discrepancies between existing facilities. Fortran and supercomputers Since Fortran has been in use for more than 50 years, there is a vast body of Fortran in daily use throughout the scientific and engineering communities. It is the primary language for some of the most intensive supercomputing tasks, such as astronomy weather and climate modeling, numerical linear algebra LAPAC, numerical libraries IMSL, structural engineering, hydrological modeling, optimization, satellite simulators, computational fluid dynamics, computational chemistry, computational economics, animal breeding, plant breeding and computational physics. Even today, half a century later, Many of the floating point benchmarks to gauge the performance of new computer processors are still written in Fortran. On the other hand, more modern code generally uses large program libraries such as PETSC or Trilinos for linear algebra capabilities, METIS for graph partitioning, DL2 or Phoenix for mesh and finite element support, and other generic libraries. Since the late 1990s, Almost all of the most widely used support libraries have been written in C and, more often C++. Consequently, a growing fraction of scientific code is also written in these languages. This shift is also evident in the selection of applications between the SPEC CPU 2000 and SPEC CPU 2006 floating point benchmarks. Language features The precise characteristics and syntax of Fortran are discussed in a separate article. Portability. Portability was a problem in the early days because there was no agreed standard a Euro not even IBM's reference manual a Euro, and computer companies vied to differentiate their offerings from others by providing incompatible features. Standards of improved portability. The 1966 standard provided a reference syntax and semantics, but vendors continued to provide incompatible extensions. Although careful programmers were coming to realize that use of incompatible extensions caused expensive portability problems, and were therefore using programs such as the PFORT verifier, it was not until after the 1977 standard, when the National Bureau of Standards published FIPS PUP 69, that processes purchased by the U.S. government were required to diagnose extensions of the standard. Rather than offer two processes, Essentially every compiler eventually had at least an option to diagnose extensions. Incompatible extensions were not the only portability problem. For numerical calculations, it is important to take account of the characteristics of the arithmetic. This was addressed by Fox A. L. in the context of the 1966 standard by the Port Library. The ideas therein became widely used and were eventually incorporated into the 1990 standard by way of intrinsic inquiry functions. The widespread adoption of the IEEE 754 standard for binary floating-point arithmetic has essentially removed this problem. Access to the computing environment remained a problem until it was addressed by the 2003 standard. Large collections of library software that could be described as being loosely related to engineering and scientific calculations such as graphics libraries, have been written in C, and therefore access to them presented a portability problem. This has been addressed by incorporation of C interoperability into the 2003 standard. It is now possible to write an entirely portable program in Fortran, even without recourse to a preprocessor. Variants, Fortran 5, Fortran 5 was a programming language marketed by Data General Corporation in the late 1970s and early 1980s, for the Nova, Eclipse, and MV line of computers. It had an optimizing compiler that was quite good for many computers of its time. The language most closely resembles Fortran 66. The name is a pun on the earlier Fortran 4. Fortran V 
Fortran V was a programming language distributed by Control Data Corporation in 1968 for the CDC 6600 series. The language was based upon Fortran 4. Univ also offered a compiler for the 1100 series known as Fortran V. A spin-off of Univ Fortran V was Athena Fortran. Fortran 6, Fortran 6 or Visual Fortran 2001 was licensed to Compaq by Microsoft. They have licensed Compaq Visual Fortran and have provided the Visual Studio 5 environment interface for Compaq V6 up to V6.1. Specific variants Vendors of high-performance scientific computers added extensions to Fortran to take advantage of special hardware features such as instruction cache, CPU pipelines, and vector arrays. For example, one of IBM's Fortran compilers had a level of optimization which reordered the machine code instructions to keep multiple internal arithmetic units busy simultaneously. Another example is CFD, a special variant of Fortran designed specifically for the ILLIAC4 supercomputer, running at NASA's Ames Research Center. IBM Research Labs also developed an extended Fortran-based language called Vecton for processing of vectors and matrices. Object-oriented Fortran was an object-oriented extension of Fortran, in which data items can be grouped into objects, which can be instantiated and executed in parallel. It was available for Sun, Iris, IPSC, and NCube, but is no longer supported. Such machine-specific extensions have either disappeared over time or have had elements incorporated into the main standards. The major remaining extension is OpenMP, which is a cross-platform extension for shared memory programming. One new extension, CoArray Fortran, is intended to support parallel programming. For transit for the IBM 650. FOR Transit was the name of a reduced version of the IBM 704 Fortran language, which was implemented for the IBM 650, using a translator program developed at Carnegie in the late 1950s. The following comment appears in the IBM reference manual. The Fortran system was designed for a more complex machine than the 650, and consequently some of the 32 statements found in the Fortran programmer's reference manual are not acceptable to the FOR transit system. In addition, certain restrictions to the Fortran language have been added. However, none of these restrictions make a source program written for FOR transit incompatible with the Fortran system for the 704. The permissible statements were, arithmetic assignment statements, for example equals b, go to n, GOTO, I, IFN1, N2, N3, pause, stop, do NI equals M1, M2, continue, end, read N, list, punch N, list, dimension V, V, V. Equivalence. Up to 10 subroutines could be used in one program. The transit statements were limited to columns 7 through 56, only. Punched cards were used for input and output on the IBM 650. Three passes were required to translate source code to the IT language, then to compile the IT statements into SOAP assembly language, and finally to produce the object program, which could then be loaded into the machine to run the program. Two versions existed for the 650s with a 2000 word memory drum, FOR Transit I and FOR Transit II the latter for machines equipped with indexing registers and automatic floating-point decimal arithmetic. Appendix A of the manual included wiring diagrams for the IBM 533 card reader punch control panel. Fortran-based languages, prior to Fortran 77, a number of preprocessors were commonly used to provide a friendlier language, with the advantage that the preprocessed code could be compiled on any machine with a standard Fortran compiler. These preprocessors would typically support structured programming, variable names longer than six characters, additional data types, conditional compilation, and even macro capabilities. Popular preprocessors included FLECS, IFTRAN, MORTRAN, SFTRAN, S4TRAN, RATFA, and RATFIV. RATFA and RATFIV, for example, implemented a C-like language outputting preprocessed code in standard Fortran 66. Despite advances in the Fortran language, 
preprocessors continue to be used for conditional compilation and macro substitution. LRLTRAN was developed at the Lawrence Radiation Laboratory to provide support for vector arithmetic and dynamic storage, among other extensions to support systems programming. The distribution included the LTSS operating system. The Fortran 95 standard includes an optional Part 3 which defines an optional conditional compilation capability. This capability is often referred to as COCO. Many Fortran compilers have integrated subsets of the C preprocessor into their systems. SimScript is an application-specific Fortran preprocessor for modeling and simulating large discrete systems. The F programming language was designed to be a clean subset of Fortran 95 that attempted to remove the redundant, unstructured, and deprecated features of Fortran, such as the equivalent statement. F retains the array features added in Fortran 90, and removes control statements that were made obsolete by structured programming constructs added to both Fortran 77 and Fortran 90. F is described by its creators as a compiled, structured, array programming language especially well suited to education and scientific computing. Lai and Fujitsu teamed up to create Fortran for the Microsoft.NET platform. Silverfrost FTN95 is also capable of creating .NET code. Code examples The following program illustrates dynamic memory allocation and array-based operations, two features introduced with Fortran 90. Particularly noteworthy is the absence of do loops and if then statements in manipulating the array. Mathematical operations are applied to the array as a whole. Also apparent is the use of descriptive variable names and general code formatting that conform with contemporary programming style. This example computes an average over data entered interactively. Humor, during the same Fortran Standards Committee meeting at which the name Fortran 77 was chosen. A satirical technical proposal was incorporated into the official distribution bearing the title, Letter O Considered Harmful. This proposal purported to address the confusion that sometimes arises between the letter O, and the numeral zero, by eliminating the letter from allowable variable names. However, the method proposed was to eliminate the letter from the character set entirely. This was considered beneficial in that it would promote structured programming, by making it impossible to use the notorious GOTO statement as before. It was noted that this might invalidate some existing programs, but that most of these probably were non-conforming, anyway. During the Standards Committee battle over whether the minimum trip count for the Fortran 77 do statement should be 0 or 1, another facetious alternative was proposed to have the minimum trip be 12 euro since there is no need for a loop if it is only executed once. See also Address Programming Language, F2C, List of Fortran Compilers, List of Fortran Numerical Libraries, List of Programming Languages, Matrix Representation, Row Major Order, References. Further reading, Articles, Allon, FE A History of Language Processor Technology in IBM. IBM Journal of Research and Development 25A, Bacchus, J.W. H. Stern, I. Zilla, R. A. Hughes, R. Nutt, R. J. Bieber, S. Best, R. Goldberg, L. M. Haped, H. L. Herrick, R. A. Nelson, D. Sir, P. B. Sheridan. The Fortran Automatic Coding System. Western Joint Computer Conference, Techniques for Reliability, 188 Euro 198 DOI, 10.1145 1455567.1455599R. Chivers, Ian D. Slygtham, Jane. Compiler support for the Fortran 2003 and 2008 standards. ACM Sigplan Fortran Forum 28, 26 a Euro 28 DOI, 10.1145 slash 1520752.1520755. ISNA 1061-7264A, Pigot, Damuid. Fortran. Bacchus A. L. High Level Compiler. The Encyclopedia of Computer Languages. Murdoch University. Retrieved May 5, 2010. A. Roberts, Mark L. Griffiths, Peter D. Design Considerations for IBM Personal Computer Professional Fortran, an Optimizing Compiler. 
IBM Systems Journal 24, 49 Euro 60 DOI, 10.1147-SJ. 241.0049A, Core Language Standards, ANSI X 3.9-1966. USA Standard Fortran American National Standards Institute are informally known as Fortran 66. ANSI X 3.9-1978. American National Standard A Euro Programming Language Fortran American National Standards Institute also known as ISO 1539-1980, informally known as Fortran 77. ANSIX 3.198-1992-ISO IEC 1539-1991. American National Standard A Euro Programming Language Fortran Extended. American National Standards Institute slash ISOIEC are informally known as Fortran 90. ISOIEC 1539-1997. Information Technology A Euro Programming Languages A Euro Fortran A Euro Part 1, Base Language are informally known as Fortran 95. There are a further two parts to this standard. Part 1 has been formally adopted by ANSI. ISOIEC 1539-1-2004. Information Technology A Euro Programming Languages A Euro Fortran A Euro Part 1, Base Language are informally known as Fortran 2003. ISOIEC 1539-1-2010. Information Technology A Euro Programming Languages A Euro Fortran A Euro Part 1, Base Language are informally known as Fortran 2008. Related Standards Nares, Wilfred. Draft Standard Industrial Real-Time Fortran. ACM Sigplin Notices 16, 45 a Euro 60 DOI, 10.1145 slash 947864 ISNA 0362-1340 ISO 8651-1988 Information Processing Systems A Euro Computer Graphics A Euro Graphical Kernel System Language Bindings A Euro Part 1, Fortran Geneva, Switzerland, ISO 1988 A, Textbooks, Adams, Jean C. Brian Erd, Walter S. Hendrickson, Richard A. Main, Richard E. Martin, Jean T. Smith Brian T. The Fortran 2003 Handbook. Springer. ISBN A 978-1-84628-378-9. Akin, ed. Object-Oriented Programming via Fortran 90-95. Cambridge University Press. ISBN A 0-521-52408-3. Chapman. Stephen J. Fortran 95-2003 for Scientists and Engineers. McGraw-Hill. ISBN A 978-0-07-319157-7. Chivers, Ian. Slygtham, Jane. Introduction to Programming with Fortran. Springer. ISBN A 978-0-85729-232-2. Etta, DM Structured Fortran 77 for Engineers and Scientists. The Benjamin Cummings Publishing Company, Inc. ISBN A 0-8053-0051-1. Ellis, TMR. Phillips, Ivor R. Lilly. Thomas M. Fortran 90 Programming. Addison Wesley. ISBN A 0 201 54446 6. Kupfer Schmidt, Michael. Classical Fortran Programming for Engineering and Scientific Applications. Marcel Decker. ISBN A 0 8247 0802 4. McCracken, Daniel D. A. Guide to Fortran Programming. New York, Wiley. LCCNA 61,016,618A, Metcalf, Michael. John Reed. Malcolm Cohen. Modern Fortran Explained. Oxford University Press. ISBN A 0-19-960142-9A, Niehoff, Larry. Sanford Liesma. 
Fortran 77 for engineers and scientists with an introduction to Fortran 90. Prentice Hall. ISBN A0-13-363003 Exa, Page, Clive G. Professional Programmer's Guide to Fortran 77. London, Pittman. ISBN A0-273-02856-1. Retrieved May 4, 2010 uh, Press, William H. Numerical Recipes in Fortran 90, The Art of Parallel Scientific Computing. Cambridge, UK, Cambridge University Press. ISBN A 0-521-57439-0 Sligthome, Jane. Chivers, Ian David. Interactive Fortran 77, A Hands-On Approach. Computers and Their Applications. Chichester, E. Howard. ISBN A 0 13 466764 6 External links, JTC 1WG 5 Euro The ISOIEC Fortran Working Group, Instructional Videos on CAF in the Fortran Standard by John Reed, History of Fortran at the Computer History Museum Software Preservation Group, Beamer, Bob. Who was who in IBM's programming research? Early Fortran Days, January 1957, Computer History Vignettes, Comprehensive Fortran Standards Documents from the Fortran Project, Fortran 4, IBM System 360 and System 370 Fortran 4 Language, GC 28 65 15 10, Fortran 77, 90, 95, 2003. 2008 Information and Resources, Fortran 77 4.0 Reference Manual, Fortran 90 Reference Card, ECMA 9 Fortran Standard, Online Fortran F Compiler for Small Experiments, Fortran Coding Form, A Guide to Fortran 4 Programming, Scanned Book.